tools banjo buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create an interesting pattern layer with a layer mask and use custom shapes with that generated pattern layer. Now first thing to do, create the pattern layer and I'm just going to go over to the custom shape tool and set the pixels, got that black and I'm going to use one of these custom shapes. Now this one here is a custom shape from Graphic Extras from the collection set designs. 13,000 different uh, shapes you can find it on the site. Now, just going to add that there. Now, I'm going to select, but of course, you could use any other custom shapes as well. I don't have to just use those, of course. So, now edit and define pattern. Right, so, now I've got this pattern. I'm going to go back a bit. Now, a layer and new fill layer and pattern. Click OK. Now what you see, you've got that you can obviously modify that and make make it like 50, resize a bit. Really quite these custom shapes really are great for creating millions and millions of different pattern designs. So you can just use that, click OK. Now what you can do, notice over here, you've got a, a layer mask thumbnail. But you can also just, just go select that. And what I'm gonna do first is actually remove the background. Don't want the background, so the background just quickly there, delete. Make certain you select that, that's the key thing. Select that one there. Now go back to the custom shape tool, and what you can do, set that to black. I'm going to use the same shape. I could, of course, use any other shape, don't have to use that. You could use a circle, any other one. And then what you can do, just cut through design like a cookie cutter kind of thing. And you can cut through the so sign obviously multiple times so you can create really more interesting patterns than just the very basic pattern and now of course this bit here is transparency you can put anything else you can put an image maybe white whatever so it doesn't matter now you just actually do that now what you can also do go to a layer and layer style maybe develop boss or drop shadow i'm just gonna go drop shadow and you can see now the shadow there now what you can then do maybe create interesting combinations you can actually just go to a layer and duplicate layer click OK so now you've got exactly the same doesn't particularly look very no it's okay exactly the same so what you can do just go over here just going to set that to white I'm just going to quickly fill that or so you can see what you can do it adds to the design but I'm just going to undo that and then just go edit and fill click white now at this point it's all completely gone so you think great now I've got this underlying thing if I actually get rid of that still there of course so now what I can do just go make certain that's black again game pixels same design again and then I can just go here and add on top and you can see now you've got the underlying design that was there before and underline there and of course you don't have to keep it in the same bit undo if you don't particularly like that design undo there whatever so you can basically just now add in different positions to create a much more complex picture more complex pattern design and you don't have to keep of course the effects in the same place so you just click on there double shadow drop shadow and you can then move that best one move that click and you can see you can move design like that so you can really create a very more much more complex pattern layer design than just by using pattern layers alone hope you found this of interest thank you much